Hello YouTube, Intuitive Edge. Today I would like to look at the recent plane crash that happened up in Puget Sound, Washington with the plane that was um, hijacked and I want to look at what happened. Um, it's kind of an odd story. Uh, the story we have from the media is that a plane was hijacked by a maintenance worker and was flown around for about an hour before crashing into a small island um, not far from Seattle out in the Puget Sound. Um, I just want to look at this situation from an intuitive perspective and find out what happened um, and what this was really about um, just to get some more information on it because the story just seems rather odd. So let's um, take a look at this and see, you know, what uh, what might have happened. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle up the cards and then we'll get started. All right, I have shuffled up the cards. I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck. Okay. So I'm going to do just a regular spread here. This will be... Um, looking at what happened um, and their situation, what crosses it, and I'm just going to see what messages I pull up, what if there's anything in the imagery of the cards that strikes a chord with me, um, something that comes up that gives me pause or gives me um, any ideas coming up. Okay, so initially what I see with the initial card, the Six of Fire, this is like bringing attention to something, um, having eyes on something. Um, now what I'm going to do with this reading, just to, just to explain, is I'm just going to look at what messages come up and then relate it as, as we can to what happened but I think there's a there's a message within this story of what we heard last week and that's what I'm looking at so this is um like I said this is this is bringing attention to something bringing something to light uh, this has to do with power structure the high priest card um, conformity. Um, so this could have something to do with bringing something to light with the power structure, uh, within the power structure. Okay. Now the top card, the stars card, to me, this feels, this feels having to do with logistics. Um, like it almost has like a military feel to it so i don't know if the person who hijacked the plane had a military background but this feels like a this has like a like a like a navy feel to it or a military feel to it um this is this card underneath what's led up to it what's what led up to what happened and this again is like eyes on something following something watching something but it's also a card of timing waiting for the right timing um so i don't know if that relates to you know, we're, we're still unclear about why this person, Mr. I think his name was Rich Russell, uh, why he would, why he did what he did. I mean, you know, it's easy to say, oh, they just were suicidal. But to me, that's almost too easy. You know, there's not everything is that cut and dry. Yes, there are people who, you know, are suicidal and they do crazy things, but some, I mean, maybe he had a different mission or a different idea of what he wanted to do. I, I don't know. Um, 
but this feel this has a timing feel to it but it has a specific purpose like watching something um the image of this card is this cat is looking into this little hole over here that probably has a mouse or some rodent and so the image is like this cat laying in lying in wait uh waiting for the right time ready to pounce like waiting for the timing to be right to be able to um execute a maneuver or go in and and do something um we have the nine of earth um in the past position um when i look at this card it reminds me of like a submarine window isn't that funny you've got this um like <laughs> this brick looking thing where you're looking out into a courtyard but it almost reminds me of like a like a, one of those small windows um with the imagery of the card but the the nine of earth is about um things that are valued um putting a value on things um when it's reversed it can be trying to sort out what is of value and what's not looking at something from the standpoint of what's important it could also represent someone who's i don't know if it could possibly represent someone who's suicidal i mean if you're having issues um with what you value or or looking at your life and feeling disconnected from value that could i suppose be a possibility but um but there, this feels like there's something more to this than just, like I said, I don't know where the military comes in with this, but that feels like there's a military connection. And it feels, I almost want to say like Navy, like, like that branch, submarine type imagery with it, um, possible. Um... And moving through this, shedding light or bringing attention to a power structure. And then we've got a, the Queen of Sky, which is a kind of a ruthless cutthroat, um, almost feels like a, like she's, she's pretty ruthless. And it feels like it's at war with power structure. I want to look at a couple more cards here. Um, so this card usually shows up when you've got somebody in power or in authority who is um, either they're abusive with their power or they're, they're cutthroat, um, underhanded, dishonest. Um, And I don't know if that describes the pilot. I mean, I don't know him, but this is what that card indicates when it's a reversal is someone who's dishonest. Um, or something about the situation was dishonest. That could be. That could be. Um, then we've got the the aid of fire on the environment like what's happening in, in in what was happening at that moment and it's you've got the aid of fire which has to do with moving quickly things happening quickly um it could have something to do with moving in on a target rather quickly bringing light to power bringing truth to power um, next we have the strength card, which is in the kind of what you're hoping or wishing for and have the, the strength card that this is like an inner resolve, a show of strength, um, mental strength, emotional strength. And that feels strange when we're talking about somebody who is suicidal because that usually doesn't 
jive. Um, you know, if somebody's suicidal, they're despondent, they're sad, they're, I haven't seen any of that show up. Nothing that would indicate that at all. I do see some dishonesty. I do see some kind of cutthroat, um, you know, dog eat dog <laughs> kind of world where you're like in it to win it kind of thing. I don't see anything in these cards that indicate someone who is depressed or suicidal. I'm just saying, that's, that's all I'm saying. <sighs> then we've got the three of fire. Three of fire. This is a, this is a card of like getting ready to make a move, getting ready to like look be this in this deck it's like look before you leap but it's getting ready it's um preparation leadership success so it's like you're you're getting ready to do something important um and interesting when you've got the image of the light shining on the cat cuz up cuz this first card was about bringing attention to something having to do with the power structure and then you've got this light sh shining in um i'm not i'm not terribly convinced this was a suicide mission um the the cards just don't for me they just don't indicate that at all so as to what this was um I would just say it has something to do with shedding light on power structure. And I, there's a military feel to it somehow, some way connection. So I don't know if the, like I said, if the person that flew the plane was a military person. Um, I, I don't know. Um, last card is the tower. This is, this is, this reminds, <laughs> you know, they say the, the, the card of the, okay, the card here, when you've got the tower card, this is like destruction, something happening that is breaking something apart or destroying something. And you've got like this storm in the background with the lightning and the dark clouds. And it's like, there's wind and the cats are being thrown around. So it, the depiction is like a storm that's causing like um, mayhem and destruction. So that's what's underneath all of this, which honestly doesn't match up with the story of a, a you know, random mechanic feeling like he wanted to go on his last joy ride before he kills himself. Um, this, this story doesn't match that story. That's all I'm going to say with that. As to what it is, you know, um, I don't know. We'll have to see maybe if, I don't know if we'll ever know. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to leave that here for now. Uh, sorry if that didn't clear up anything, um, kind of yeah, made me question more than, uh, more than I felt it had answers, but again, we just go where the cards lead us and what the cards say, so that's my take on it. I appreciate you stopping by my channel. I hope you like it. If you do, leave a like, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Intuitive Edge, signing out. Bye-bye.